Behringer makes a great app called MXQ, which allows you to adjust your in-ears via your phone while you're on stage. So let's take a deep dive into what the MXQ app can do. Let's go. So today we're gonna learn how to mix your in-ears on the MXQ app within the X32 ecosystem. So let's take a look. Sweet, so the first thing we wanna do is we wanna to connect to the Wi-Fi that's being output from this board here. So we wanna to go to our settings. Um, right now we're on one Wi-Fi, we gotta wait for it to show up. We wanna look for Linksys 5G, which is right here. Now just say, is that built into the X32? It, it's a router that is connected to the X32. So everybody's router name is gonna look different. It's gonna look different and there's gonna be a different password for our campus. What we do, if, you, if you're already connected, you wanna share with someone, you just select that, hold down, and you can copy and send to your friends who are new to the vocal team. But that is our password right now. Very cool. Um, so we're gonna go and connect. Um, and this, the only fresh, the only part is this has no internet connection. So if you need to do th internet things, you have to disconnect from that. Then we're gonna go over to MXQ and open the app. This app can be a little finicky. So sometimes you have to open and close it a couple times or whatnot. Actually, I'm gonna close it so we can see from fresh because it's already connected. So it's gonna scan for devices on the Wi-Fi network. Oh, it's just automatically connecting. Okay, great. Sometimes it'll show the, the console there and you just gotta select the console. Now, when we're on this screen, we've got to select what in-ears we want to affect. So right now we're on IEM3. If you select that right there, it'll show all the things you can adjust. So you want to make sure you're adjusting your pack. So we have IEM5, 6, IEM1, 2, 3, and 4. So we're going to go to IEM4 here, and then we're going to go to Mixer. Nothing here, you shouldn't have to adjust. Um, and then these are all the things you can, you can adjust here. So this is their mix. You can start tabbing over, everything's named, kick, snare, tom, you can kind of start tabbing over overhead so you can turn things up and down. And if you see, this is their mix here. If you see, it'll actually adjust it on the board there for that person, so that's it's pretty cool. So what we're controlling here is literally controlling the X32, correct? Yes, yes, and this is, so you can turn down talk back and just says all the channels. So you wanna, the important thing is you don't wanna be adjusting someone else's ears, so always, always check um, that you're adjusting the correct thing. You can also even adjust things that may miss, mess with the front of house stuff, so just make sure you're selected, your in-ears. Um, you can go through and just kind of look through things. So um, right now we can turn up, I don't know why. Oh, they're muted. So that's cool. So uh, let's say uh, we're number four. Right now it's muted on the board. So it actually has got to be unmuted if you see right here. That just means it's muted on the board. It's got to be changed only on the board. Bam, we're live. And then we're going to turn up our in-ears here. So the mute function cannot be adjusted within the MXQ app. No, it cannot, unfortunately. Um, so then we want to unmute all vocals. So then you can just set all right, I want more of this, I want less of this. You know, whatever you want to do, you can adjust that and you just see the names. Handle one, handle two, handle three. Um, you can even go to, I wouldn't recommend a ton of this for vocalists because it can start to mess with your pitch, but it feels, see, we don't want to click. That's a big problem. We want lots of that. Um, it can mess, but it makes things feel a lot better if you go over and you can even throw in some reverb. These effects right here um, are your reverb effects um, and delay. So you can kind of throw that in, make it sound a little more live, a little less sterile in your ears. Um, but yeah, that's how you do it. And when you're done, you just you just close the app out and your in-ears are fixed. And then if later in the service or, or in rehearsal, you just open that back up, scan for devices, give it a second. If it doesn't connect, just close the app, do it again. Um, and then, you know, we can go, oh, we're gonna adjust IM1, get a mixer, and there you go. And I think it cannot be overstated. Do not forget to check what mix you're adjusting. Even yes. whenever you open it back up in the middle of a service because that could really mess up somebody else on stage. We want to make sure we're thinking about that. Yep, always double check that. So, awesome. Up. Thanks, Josiah. Appreciate it.